you're driving along, you get pulled over, you get a citation either handed to you or sent to you in the mail. And then you think, okay, I probably did what they're citing me for, or even if I didn't, I just want to get it over with. So I'll just pay the fine, plead guilty, and that'll be it. Which is what that is. When you're filling out the form and you're sending it in with the money, you are pleading guilty to what they're charging you with. The problem with that is that it can have a bunch of repercussions that you can't imagine. Um, the DA's office and there are the officer that charged you or the judge that's overseeing it at the MDJ's office, they can all tell you, you know, oh, you can just plead guilty and that'll be out, but they won't actually tell you how it can affect your license because it's not their job to tell you that. Um, meaning you might decide to just plead guilty, pay the fine, and you get points on your license and you get so many points at your license that your license is then suspended. Or you could get an automatic license suspension. I had a client who had was speeding through a uh, school bus zone um, while school bus was there and she got a citation. She wanted to take responsibility, thought no big thing, paid for the fine, sent it in. Well, I guess 25 years prior, she had had the same violation. And the way the law is structured, it says, if you ever get a second citation for that violation ever, not within a certain number of time, just ever in your lifetime, you will get an automatic 60 day license suspension. So she then had to file an appeal to reopen the citation and she had to file an appeal with PennDOT appealing her license suspension. And it cost her a lot of time and a lot of money that could have all been avoided if she had actually talked to an attorney before she sent in her fine. Other things to keep in mind is that you can actually even face incarceration sometimes. For example, people driving with a suspended license. There's two types of ways you do that. It's just regular suspended, whether it's from failing to pay a traffic ticket um, or anything. Um, you think, oh, I'm driving with a suspended license. I'm just going to get another one. Well, guess what? Once you start to get more and more and more, you can actually face a mandatory 30 days in prison. Um, another type of license suspension is if your license is DUI suspended. So say you're on ARD for your first DUI or you pled guilty to a DUI and you go out driving and you get pulled over. Maybe you're even driving perfectly, but say um, someone causes a car accident that you're involved in. If they come up and interview and the cop no, finds out that you have a DUI, DUI suspended license, you are looking at a mandatory 60 to 90 days in jail. And depending on what county it happens in, you're doing that jail time. It doesn't have, you can't do a substitution, you can't plead it out to something else, um, and you really need an attorney to kind of walk you through what your options are at that point. Um, so if you have any questions, the best recommendation I can give you is to just contact an attorney, ask us, and see if we can help you.